the day we're taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Thursday, November 10, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified, as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, by becoming a member of the High Stakes Patreon, you will have access to our best team picks, total picks, parlay picks and much more. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Memphis vs Tulsa. The Golden Hurricane currently sits in 9th place in the Ox standings, as they have continued to struggle. They are also 1-4 against conference opponents this season, as they will have to win this game if they want to start climbing in the correct direction. On offense, Tulsa is scoring 30.2 points per game and averaging 415.7 total yards. This is the 57th most points scored per game and the 51st most yards. They have shown that they can consistently move the ball through the air as they have been slinging the ball all over the yard this season. Tulsa is throwing for 276 passing yards per game, which is the 30th most in the country. Davis Brin has been Tulsa's starting quarterback this season, but he is currently listed as questionable with a shoulder injury. Braylon Braxton will start if Brin can't go. Braxton threw for 146 yards and no touchdowns last week against Tulane. Tulsa is also running for 139.7 rushing yards per game, which is the 80th most in the country. Generic Prince is Tulsa's lead back, as he has recorded 438 yards and three touchdowns this season. Last week, he ran for 55 yards and didn't score a touchdown. The Memphis Tigers have now lost two games in a row, and they will be looking to get back on track in this one. They are currently in eighth place in the Ox standings, as they will also need to win this game if they want to inch closer to the top. On offense, the Tigers are scoring 33.9 points per game and averaging 421 total yards. This is the 33rd most points scored per game and the 46th most total yards. The Tigers have had more success moving the ball through the air this season. They are currently throwing for 284.6 yards per game, which is the 25th most in the nation. Seth Hennigan will start at quarterback, as the sophomore QB has thrown for 16 touchdowns this season and only 7 interceptions. Last week, he threw for 284 yards and 1 touchdown against the Knights. I will be taking the Memphis Tigers, minus 6.5, at home in this game, as Tulsa has continued to struggle against conference opponents, and their quarterback is still listed as questionable. Regardless of if he plays, I still see the Tigers winning this game, but if Bryn is out, then I don't see Tulsa having any chance. The Tulsa defense has also continued to struggle, as I see Memphis scoring consistently throughout this game. The Tigers are scoring the 33rd most points per game, and they are averaging the 46th most total yards. They will lean on their passing attack and mix in the run, as they will keep this Tulsa defense on their toes. Tulsa is currently surrendering the 118th most points per game and the 90th most yards. They will allow the Tigers to march the ball up and down the field as they will have multiple opportunities to score throughout this game. I would make sure to check Brin's status before placing your wager, but if he doesn't play, the Golden Hurricane will struggle to move the ball through the air. If he does play, I still see them struggling to score enough points to cover the spread in this game. Memphis's schedule has been much more difficult, and Tulsa has lost four of its last five games. The Tigers are the better overall team, as they will get the job done at home in this one. Pick the Memphis Tigers and lay points, minus 6.5. This game will end up being a shootout with a turnover by Tulsa being the difference in a win for Memphis that will snap their four-game winning streak. The Tulsa defense is allowing 33 points per game, while the offense is scoring an average of 30 points per game. Memphis has similar numbers with their defense giving up 32 points per game and their offense scoring 34 points per game. The over is 4-1 in the Golden Hurricanes' last five versus a team with a losing record. The over is 4-0 in the Tigers' last four games overall. Take the over on Thursday night. Louisiana vs Georgia Southern Georgia Southern is not in the race to make it to the Sun Belt Conference title game either, but they need just one more win to become bowl eligible. 
the Eagles have been up and down this season. In non-conference play they beat Morgan State Nebraska and Ball State with a loss to UAB. The Eagles opened up Sun Belt play with road losses to Coastal Carolina and Georgia State, but then handed then number 25 ranked James Madison its first loss on October 15. After a 28-23 win at Old Dominion, the Eagles had a bye week and then lost at home to South Alabama 38-31 last week. The Eagles are 6-3 against the spread this season. Louisiana ranks 9th amongst 14 teams in the Sun Belt, with 361.1 total offensive yards per game. They are 10th throwing for 230.7 passing yards and 9th rushing for 130.4 yards per game. The offense has used two quarterbacks this season, but is led by Ben Wooldridge, 12 TDs, 4 int, 56.5%, 1,468 yards. Running back Chris Smith leads the team with 408 yards on 5.4 yards per rush attempt. On defense, Louisiana is 6th, allowing 345.9 total yards per game. They rank 4th in the Sun Belt holding teams to 216.3 passing yards per game and 6th allowing 129.6 rushing yards. Georgia Southern is converting on 52.8% of its 3rd down conversions and on 50% of its 4th down conversions, compared to the Rajan Cajuns, who are converting on 40.7% of their 3rd downs and just 36.8% on 4th downs. It will be an interesting contrast of styles, as the Eagles are first in the conference in red zone offense, while the Ragin' Cajuns are first in red zone defense. On the other side, Louisiana is just 12th in red zone offense, while Georgia Southern is 11th in red zone defense. Overall it depends on whether you believe in defense of Louisiana at home more or the offense of Georgia Southern in this road spot. With no rain in the forecast for Thursday night, I have to go with the explosive offensive attack of Georgia Southern to be the difference in this game. The Eagles are second in the nation behind only Oregon, with just three quarterback sacks allowed all season. Georgia Southern is also getting points here, which is a benefit in what could be a tight battle. Another thing I like about the Eagles is that this could be a potential look-ahead spot for Louisiana. Although a conference game should not be overlooked, Louisiana does face Florida State next week, which will be hard not to think about. Take the Georgia Southern plus 3.5 points. These defenses are doing well enough as they are limiting the opposing points, as Georgia Southern is giving up 33 points in their last three games, while Louisiana is allowing 22.6 points in their previous five games. These teams are going to force mistakes, and that means there will be points in the game where one team is driving the football and will turn the ball over, and when the total is sitting at a point per minute, that means it will be extremely tough. The under has hit in 10 of the last 14 Eagles games, following a ATS loss, as well as in 10 of the previous 11 Rajan Cajuns games, following a straight-up loss, so under 59.5 points looks like the better play.